All right, all you arcade bangers. I'm back with another free play. Here we go. I am trembling with anticipation here. Okay, quick recap. I play three games in MAME with a commentary from my brain. And I pick them randomly. And hopefully I'll find some hidden gems for you, me, y'all, whatevers. Let's go, let's pick it. Let's spin the wheel of justice and I'll spin it with my eyes closed. And here we go, I'll settle on one. This is Video Vince from Game Factory from Millstar 1984 and it said it was a prototype so I think it's an unreleased game it's not a game I've ever seen before I've, I've never played this one so hopefully it's a little gem I don't think it's going to be a little gem let's just see there's something happening creepy okay so what happens uh, couple of times too. <laughs> I bounce around a bit. Right, I'm just, fi uh, this is the first time I played it so I'm just figuring out the buttons. The buttons to bounce and there's the button to die. So I'm getting carried off by some monkeys. Right, what do I have to do? Cage the critters. Tap a button to pick up or drop a cage. Touch a critter with the matching cage to catch it. Aha. So rather than simple intuitive gameplay, you have to read the description before you play the game. I think I know what I'm doing here. Let's have another go, let's try again. Open the creaky door. Right, so pick the times two up. Pick the brown crate up for the monkey. What the fuck? I tried to throw the crate at the monkey. Obviously that doesn't work. Video Vince, one of the best known arcade characters of all time <laughs> one of the most recognizable by his design right let's get straight into this come on let's go the cage the times two the cage get the cage bounce down that's it no not the purple how come the purple went through us right jump over the purple got one there's one jump over the purple jump up can't seem to push that or go through it Get the green cage. Bounce around a bit. This gear, it's, it's pretty hard to control. There's the purple. There, and I'm, I'm dropping cages all over. I'm stuck against that now. So you have to carry the cage. You can't throw it. Nah. Very intuitive gameplay. And on, now I can... I was bouncing off the wall, now I can walk through to the other side. Catch the notes with your net. That sounds simple enough. Let's see. Okay, here we go, level two. DJ Video Vince on the wheels of steel, keeping it real. All right, times two. What the hell, what's going on? I bounce around. There, I'm catching the notes, I'm catching the notes. That's what I'm doing, I'm doing it. I think they were just throwing around ideas and Throwing around shit and see which shit hits the fan. <laughs> Just throwing around loads of ideas, see which one sticks. Right, and he's level three. Put to, put the games together. The games together. Use magnet to move the parts. All right. So each level is completely different. So I've picked up a, a thing. Picked up a box. There's the... that should go on top of it. Nope. What the fuck's going on? I don't even know what's happening. I don't even understand. Can you not just put stuff on top of stuff and then it matches and then... I don't know. Oh, I don't have a clue what's going on. Fuck this game. Uh, you made it. Obviously you never made it. Because it never got released. Someone looked at it and thought it was garbage. <laughs> Anyway, spin the wheel of fortune. Let's see what we've got next. Randomizer. Balloon Bomber. 1980 from Tato. And it looks a little bit like a game we all know. Space Invaders. Yes. Loving the music. 
So yeah, it's Space Invaders. Rockets. Oh, next level. Rockets hit the floor and put a dent in the floor. I can shoot the bullets. So they just straight ripped the Space Invaders gameplay and added a new mechanic where bullets hit the floor. And it's the worst mechanic in the world. Look, I can't move out the area. I'm stuck in this this area. So I'm just stuck waiting. This has got to be the worst idea. They must have thought, oh, we'll have to do something different. <laughs> Come on, next. Next game. Balloon Bomber. Right, randomize here. Come on, pick it. Pick, see if we can get a good one this time. So, yeah, that's, that's the thing with some of these forgotten games. Like those. Like Video Vince, it was just too complicated. It, the concepts were just not intuitive at all. You couldn't really understand what was going on. It was just too much. Oh, Strike Force from Midway. I think I've played this one before. This is... I think, from what I remember, it's pretty good. Midway are known for making crazy games like... A bit off-centre games compared to Capcom and Konami. Different looking, not as... Not as cartoony as them, just like weird. Games like Smash TV, Narc, NBA Jam, Mortal Kombat, Ivan Iron Man's Off-Road Racing, Defender, Joust. And this is pretty much a sequel to Defender. Anyway, back to my point about games like Video Vince. And uh, what was the other one? Bloom Bomber. Back in the golden age, they didn't have much hardware to work with. So the developers had to create a simple concept that was intuitive. Something that catches your eye, guzzles your coins, and it's addictive. Say, like Pac-Man. It's just a simple straight to the point character design, a simple body design, and a simple game screen which is just a maze really. It's a symmet symmetrical map and you can go out one side and you come out the other side. And all you have to do is click the pellets and then click the bigger pellets in the corner then you can eat the bodies. And it's just simple gameplay like that. Where the video fucking Vince. You're bouncing about all around. You don't have a clue what's going on. The character's overcomplicated and not very well designed. Compared to something like Mario, it's just a really simple character design. They used primary colours and they didn't overcomplicate things, it was ju just simple. I mean, they make it look easy to do, but obviously it's not easy to do because there's a lot of games out there that are not very good from the time. You try to create something, but it just wasn't very good. In a game like Video Game Vince, probably some used car salesmen and local business people from the area got together and wanted a piece of the action on that arcade dollar dollar bill and they were like let's create a video game with a big cigar in his mouth and got someone to program it yeah that video game dollar dollar bill y'all and that's what they came up with there's a lot of creativity even for something so simple as like pac-man there's so much creative creativity in that and you, you just have to get everything right and everything just falls into place. But along with that creativity, it's it's holding back and knowing when to stop. And keeping it as simple as possible. And that's one of the many keys to making a successful video game. Especially in the golden age. Just create a simple concept, there's a key. So if there's any video game developers from 1981, create a time machine. Come and find me and I'll... Uh, school yeah on how to make a video game <laughs> on the other hand this game seems to be complicated with shit flying around all over but it seems to be fun it's got that fun fact there oh yeah <laughs> so yeah I've had one good game really out of this free play and if you haven't played Strike Force by Midway here it is, he's a little gem for you. And he's free play. Hopefully I'll be back next week. 